Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we will be covering forms. Simply click on forms on the left. All right, what are forms? Forms allow you to request information from candidates before they begin their interview. You are then able to filter on any non-open text fields using the forms information. So it's quite easy and simple. It is just basically the questions that you'd give your candidates or the information that you'd like to receive from your candidates. You can put it nicely together in a form and they can fill that out before they take the actual interview. So by default, we have a Wambly form. Um, so if you do not use a form, this is the standard form that we use. And this is the information that we'd be gathering from the candidate. So we would click on the Wamly default just to show you some of the questions that we have. So we have the name of the form and we have the description. So we can click them on form builder. We see that under this form, we have the candidate name, the surname, the email address, their phone number, the gender, the country, the nationality, as well as the address. Bearing in mind that all that is written in red and it says required, these are prerequisites. So the candidate cannot click on the next button without actually filling out this information. Okay, so this is what a normal standard Wambly um, by default or default form would look like. So we can go back. Once we're back here, you have the ability to create your own form um, and alter the form depending on the vacancy that you are hiring for. So we can add new if we want to create a new one. And we will call this one IT support. Okay, and description um, form for managers. Okay, maybe we are hiring IT support managers, right? And um, the form builder. So what you have here is all the prerequisite or the minimum information that we'd need from the candidate when they are filling out a form. So we have the name, the surname, the email address, and the phone number. What we can do here on the side is that we can add more. So we can add the gender and the candidates will have a drop down and they will be able to select the agenda. We have the race, we have the date of birth, we have the nationality, the country, the address, and we have something called text input. So under text input, this is where you can um, edit the question and um, write whatever question it is that you want to ask the candidate. So we will click here on this edit bar and um, we can write the what motivates you maybe this is not the best question to put in a form but um what motivates you this is the question i would ask and um, i would make it required so that it's a prerequisite and i'll go back there's my question and I can continue. So a multi-liner input is when I would like maybe to write a whole paragraph for the candidates to read. Maybe it's a consent thing um, and they have to give consent that they agree or they disagree, terms and conditions, that sort of thing. Um, we can use a multi-liner input for that. And um, we can move on to a number input. So a number input is for them just to simply put in numbers. Maybe if I ask something like, how old are you? Old are you? Okay, and the candidate is only allowed to write numbers or to um, put in numbers and not any words because it's not a text input. Right, and we have drop downs. Drop downs are really fun because then you can give um, multiple options. So, here under the drop down, you can say when, maybe, when can you start? Okay, so maybe the first option would be ASAP. A S A P. The second option would be in one month. 
the next one would be in two months. Okay, so you can always add on to this um, depending on the vacancy and depending on the options that you want to give the candidates. Or maybe you can remove. So if you want to add, that's what you'd do. So you'd click on the little plus sign and it will give you the next option. But if you do not want to add that, you can also click on the minus option and you can remove that. Okay, once you're happy with that, maybe it's not required, then we can move on. Okay, so there you have it. And we can move on to the next one. We can use um, the checkbox, which is a, also called a multi-selector. Okay, so this is what it would look like and um, the candidates can select one or more options. Okay, let's see. Then we can have a date selector, maybe when can you start if maybe we need like a specific date and they can choose that particular date on the calendar we have an alternative email and we have an alternative number so those are all the fields that you can use um, when you are creating your form once you are done with that you would click update and your form would be updated, we would have the name of the form. So now going back to projects, I just wanna show you where you would insert your form or how you would be able to select your form for the your specific project. So I'm gonna go to my project that is under draft. I will click on project settings and I would click on forms, right? So. Currently, this particular project has the WAMLI default form selected. However, if I want a different form, maybe I want the test analyst form, I can preview it here, which is really fun. So I can preview it and see what are the questions that are asked in this particular form. Okay, and um, I can look for another one, maybe the online administrator, I can preview that one as well and see also what other questions asked here. Once I'm happy with that, I can click on select form. So once I click on select form, the form is brought up here and it says currently selected. Once I'm happy with that, I can just click on update and this will be the form that the candidates would have to fill out before they take the actual interview. And that's it from this lesson. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson. Bye.